Greetings and welcome to episode 3 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign and this my friends I we left it last time where we have finally my friends struck against the Ottomans here in the very heart of their empire my friends Istanbul the very key production center recruitment center the absolute economic hub of their entire empire has been besieged by our forces but we're on a knife edge here my friends we really are because we don't really have a huge amount of forces in the area we have done this out of necessity for two reasons the first is obviously because we don't want any sort of problems i.e. with the Ottomans building up forces in one area and thereby slowing down and bringing the campaign to an end secondly we just you know we there was a possibility possibility that we weren't going to be able to get the troops together if we left it any longer and the Ottomans start building up their forces we wouldn't have the facilities or the troops to be able to get into place quick enough to sort of deal with the problem should it come along again and as a consequence of these two actions my friends or the actions you see here we are sort of we've really pushed our empire or our sort of say our our sort of production our economy to the absolute limit very very early on in this campaign much much quicker than I normally would it's out of necessity that I've had to do this and so I'm going to have to sort of wait now, my friends, before I do any other actions. Well, if and when I take these two territories, we're going to s hopefully just be able to stabilize. I'm not saying we're going to because probably you know the Ottomans are probably going to strike back against us. But if we get the chance to be able to stabilize and at least try and get something out of these two regions here, or at least try and hold the regions and allow us to build up some of our reserves, spill up our economy, get some more trade in, you know, try and get ourselves in a position where we can actually start to increase our our sort of income because the, the our economy is not brilliant. As you can see here, we're only pulling one four six five. Now, the reason for that is the trade here has been hit absolutely to pieces. Here, Sweden has been blockaded. You know, provinces have been blockaded. We also got the Mughal Empire, which is a huge, huge contributor to our economy, our trade at least. And also, we got Austria and Venice trade lines being hit. So, in all in all, we are struggling, my friends. But we're just about keeping our heads above water here. Now we do have this, these forces here building up, but I really want to try and hit Egypt if I can take Cairo and link these two together. It really is quite a large city here to take, especially on the on the edge here against the Barbary states, and possibly even try and take Syria as well and bring the triumvirate here, my friends, of of cities under our control. But as you can see, we have got Jerusalem, which is a secure facility it is a secure city we've got a port here as well we've got these loitering around here we are actually putting in production three grenadier units i may have to strike out and take these units all out my friends if i have to then that's what i shall do you can see they're building a bit of a force here we've got two camel nomads um three camel nomads four camel nomads five camel nomads six seven camel nomads so as you can see, we would be hit by quite a lot of cavalry, but I, I really need to strike against some of these, some of these forces here that take out some of these. But my main, my main aim here is to hold these down here. As you can see, we've got Islamic swordsmen, Azars, two armed populace, and some cannon. And here we have a mortar, bane of my life, a lot of mob, and we've got some Azars two garrison Israelis and we got some Islamic swordsmen as well so if we can capture these we will probably be raided to absolute pieces here we really really will but that is the sort of you know that is the consequence of what we have done my friends we've done it out of necessity and also because we, if we'd have left it any longer it might have been too late for us to do anything about what may have happened so um, I think that's all I can have a quick look here if, tr if we can do any more trade now Spain is hostile Oh, look, oh, hang on a minute. How come we can't trade with these? What's going on there? Oh, excellent, excellent. Oh, Spain, uh, Spain is hostile. Doesn't mean we can't get a trade agreement. Maybe, just maybe. Nope. I don't like that at all, which is fine. Denmark is unfriendly. Oops, we trade agreement, see if we can get that. Nope. Louisiana, no point there. Persia is indifferent, but that doesn't mean we can't. Nope, they don't like that. Uh, Savoy, they're indifferent, but uh, let's see if we can... No, that's fine. So, it looks like we've managed to get the Mughal, which are very friendly with us indeed. Um, and what have they... <coughs> that's not, that's not boosting our trading income. One iota there. And is that because the Marathans have been hit as well? 
by the yep uh, Maratha where are you Maratha yes they've been hit by the Mughals so once these sort themselves out here in this war that's going on between these two here once this or this here has been sort of sorted out and cleared out then we can hopefully bring ourselves in some much needed trade but we're not at the moment anyway let us my friends end this turn and let's see what, what let's see what brings itself to our doorstep here let's just quickly speed this up France I think from France at all I did promise Spain don't nothing of silly Spain nothing silly at all Prussia I think they've got their own problems Prussia with which to deal with Poland here we go this should be fun now will they strike out from their city to try and remove us here look at that I knew it oh, oh, oh. holy smokes and all that goes with it one two three four five six seven camel camel nomads now my friends just before this battle starts I'm just going to just you know just quickly say that if the lag from these f these because it's effectively a four battle if the lag gets so bad in this four battle that I have to sort of um, you know sort of try and skip through it you might see this cut now you might see this cut this battle because of the lag you can get in these four battles they can be pretty horrendous so if you do see that my friends I do apologize in advance I'm hoping it's not gonna happen but if it does happen um, you know there's a possibility it might because they've obviously combined all their forces here from Cairo, from Cairo to try and take out Jerusalem but we're not gonna give it up that easily um, we we do have these mortars which are absolutely vital in our defense they really will be they are fantastic to have and we also got some cannon plenty of men we can just hold the walls here these, these camels are just gonna do nothing at all hopefully we'll be able to strike out and take them out but that's a, let's do this my friends let's do this we're not gonna sit here and just let that happen not a chance if we can defeat this army here with a possibility we might have an opening there against against Egypt but then again if I move out of Jerusalem, then the garrison from Syria might come for us, and that's what I've got to be careful of here. I'm trying to draw in these forces here from the Ottomans, but I'm hoping as well that the garrisons in Istanbul and in Greece come out to try and sally forth to try and relieve the try and relieve the the siege we've laid upon them. If we can do that, if we can drag them out, we can take those settlements. That's going to boost our income considerably, but we will be raided. Believe me, my friends, we are going to be raided to absolute hell by the Ottomans. That's why I needed the, the sort of the Russians to do something with the Ottomans. But they're clearly not. They're not clearly not going to. They're just happy with what they've got. They're holding their borders, but we're going to try and use what we've got with the Ottomans as a sort of a staging ground for further advance. Oh my word! Look at this. This is my favourite forts of all are these in the Middle East. Look at these. These are magnificent. They really are an absolute joy to behold. Right. What the blazes is going on here? Gentlemen, this ill discipline shall not go unpunished. Look at this. Right. Get the cannon. Now where are they, where's the possibility going to come in from? Around here. And around here. I don't think it wraps around any further. Nope. Look at that my friends. The heat of the Middle East. So what we are going to do is we're going to leave these here. These gentlemen should be brought here. Gentlemen, please. Let's have some decorum. Some discipline. Right, we're going to bring these under control. And we've got these as well now. Again, we're going to bring these under control as well. They can fire at will. These are absolutely brutal against anywhere they try to attack you. Now they've only got <coughs> they can only attack from two sides which is look at the state of these deployments what in all that is good in this world is going on here with these deployments a scan look oh my gosh I love these forts I really do gentlemen please thank you now we don't need to put one more regiment along this on this sort of 90 degree angle here 
but the rest of them are going to be brought off the wall here and stationed thus. We're not going to bring in anybody to fight that we don't need to here. Because I want to be ready to strike out against the Ottomans if needs be. We're going to have... Look at this. Look at this deployment. It's horrific. I can understand the front here being like this. That's fine. It's perfect. We'll have the 17th Regiment holding the centre ground here. We'll have one more regiment. Well, actually, we'll keep it like that, to be honest with you. I shall have one more regiment. Thus. If anything comes on the side, I'll just put one regiment here, just in case anything tries to flank. But they just don't have enough to flank us, really. I do want to strike out against the the camel nomads if I have to, but I think we're pretty secure here in this fort, and there, look at that in the background there, my friends, that's a, that is a city and a half right there, that is Jerusalem, let's begin this fight, there they are, absolutely perfect, <laughs> and already it's begun, When these open up, when these open up, oh, oh. oh my word, it's going to be an absolute joy. gentlemen fire into these fiends here <sighs> cheapers creepers has an accurate firing right there whoa and there as well should move these gentlemen to here as I suspect they keep firing on these fire lads give them help It's absolutely insane. Come on, break these. <laughs> oh look at that beautiful to see they're broken keep firing on them lads give them nothing at all give oh look at that what a shot that was right into the oh my god and Benny right across the ranks there that was a heck of a shot my compliments to the chef that was a brutal shot right into the ranks there What's that doing to the wall here? 31% 30, on this wall here. I think we can try and draw these out. We'll prepare ourselves for quite the fight here. So let's pull them out. They go for this wall here. If that's the way they want to play it. And so be it. <laughs> fire again gentlemen fire again please if you would
45%. That wall, that wall will go down with this continued boom. Then they're going to pour in. Holy smokes. These gentlemen can pull off here, they're going to defend this corner here. <laughs> come on, come on, nomads, just be in range of these. I will show you something you've never seen before, which is utter destruction. Let's pull these gentlemen off the wall because they're not going to be lonely anymore. <sighs> very, very crafty indeed. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to sit in a square formation ready to absorb anything that comes our way. We're also going to pull off another unit here from the wall. They're going to stay be by here by their brethren and they can they can double time it as well oh that's a beautiful shot right there that wall's gonna go at any time There's a lot of men here if we're not careful. Oh, that was unlucky. <sighs> Cheapest creepers, they missed there, but just by the skin of the teeth, I'm not joking. Defend this line here against these camel camel nomads. Oh, I can assure you, we're not afraid of these at all. Here it goes. It's going to go. It's absolutely collapsed. for interlocking squares. Interlocking squares! Gentlemen, I won't ask you again. Oh, what a shot. Fire at will is off. You fire where I tell you to fire.
interlocking squares, but not here. So what we are going to do is we're going to go and take the fight to the Ottomans with support of the gentlemen here. That's what we're going to do. Absolutely nothing at all. They really have been rubbish. We take the fight to them. Simple as that. Simple as that. I think I'm going to stand here and wait for them to come. No chance. Double time, gentlemen. Replenish the gentleman here, not a problem at all. We've got three Benjamins of Grenadiers coming out as well soon, but I will stiffen the resolve of this garrison here. But there's no way I'm going to sit here and just wait. Look at that interchangeable inter interlinking squares. If they come here, that's what they'll face. They haven't even got the courage to come out here. They attacked us and just left, sat there waiting. But we do have courage, my friends. We do have courage. We're going to let them know they just can't come along here and just do whatever they want. Not a chance. Move, gentlemen, move. formation in this gap here. Open the gates. Come on gentlemen, open those gates please. Let's keep the pressure on these here. But they are missing by an absolute country mile here. be some of the worst shooting ever. Come on, gentlemen, please. Let's speed this up. Let's go. A couple of shots have hit them, but almost nothing at all has hit these nomads whatsoever. So we can hit them from two sides. There it is. One of them is gone.
<laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a sight to behold, it really is. Look at that. They weren't ready for that. Here they come, here they come. Gentlemen, if I wanted some rabble to be leading here, I would have asked for some other army, but I'm not. British. Remember who you are. <laughs> Gentlemen, please get in those square formations immediately. going to hit like an absolute hammer now, but ready, steady yourselves, laddie, steady yourselves. They've broken, hold lads, hold. They've broken as well. Holy smokes, come on now, hold lads. They're shattered, they've gone, they've been, they've been run down. These are standing strong here. If he's run into this square here, they should be blitzed. <laughs> Look at this, they're, all, they're, all, they're wavering. Go hand to hand, lads, go hand to hand. Creepers, creepers, this has been a tougher fight than I expected. It really has been. They're shaken. They're wavering. Come on, lads, break these fiends here. They're broken. They're, oh, look at that, they're back. Stay in there, help your brothers. They're shattered. Here we go. Stand tall, lad. Stand tall. There are them. Holy smokes! That's it. Wavering. This is going to get tough. This is going to get really, really tough here. Oh my Gordon Bennett, that's a lot of troops there. Bayonets.
Whoa. Hold, lads, hold. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're broken. My word, this has been a heck of a fight. These camel nomads are a nightmare. They're shattered. Fire! That's more like it, lads. That's what I'm expecting. And they've come back as well. Beautifully fought. Yeah, whoa, ho, ho. That was a lot closer than I thought. Holy smokes. Woo. That was as close as it gets. That really was. Because we had to go out to them. Otherwise, we'd have been sat there for the whole battle otherwise. Wow. <whistles> lost 783 men. They lost you know, almost everything there. What we, what's the... Look at that. Colonial line infantry. Beautifully done. And they retreated. Goodbye, Ottomans. Leave us alone. Come on now, Russia. Do something here to help us instead of concentrating on Sweden. Nope. You'd rather concentrate on Sweden. Rather Confederacy. Muka Hals, what will they do? Will they be able to free up any trade for us? Let's hope they can. It would be nice if they did so. going to be a really tough squeeze here for us. It really is. We're out on a limb here. Out on a limb. Pirates don't do anything to the trade lines at all, pirates. Not a thing. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right, three more turns until I have to Yes. Thinking you. 1165. How's trade? Holy smokes! All of, oh my God, Ben! Look at this. This trade, this trade is absolutely shot to pieces. Portugal provinces, Sweden, everything closed off here to us. We're just about holding our own here, and I mean just about. Right, that can be replenished, and that can, and that one can. But that is it. I've got to hold some reserves here. And we can't do ooh, look at that. We did we did thrash them down a little bit here. They do have this new Camel Nomad force coming in here. But we're just waiting for these. This is the key point here for us. But what's happened to Portugal? Oh marvellous. Of course Spain is attacking Portugal. Oh, jeepers, creepers, great balls of fire. That is a huge fleet. Now just just get on with it, Spain, and take Portugal out. Do whatever you've got to do. Actually, oh, Portugal is hitting uh, Cartagena here as well. Look how many ships that Spain have got. France, peace with France. France have hit. Sheepers, creepers. That's a lot of ships there as well, my friends. A lot of ships. There's a chance they might even fall here. And uh, we've got the Spanish here hitting this trade line here as well. Marvellous. And we've got this being raided by Denmark as well. We're cheapest creepers as well. Our trade is being absolutely, you know, stripped dry here from our bones. There's not a lot else we can do here. Oh, not a lot else we can do. Martha Confederacy. How are they doing over here? Let's have a look. Oh. Ah, good. So they've actually opened up their their lines here, but this is still closed off here. Come on now, our New Carl Empire, do something here. Do something here. They got Mook. Oh, oh, that's why as well. That trading, that trade has been hit. None of this has been repaired or replenished. 
we've just got to try and wait for things to settle down a little bit and that's what we're waiting for is things to get a grip of themselves here two more turns until we get fire by rank which is going to help us significantly then we can get socket bayonets or we might even just go for this trade route here six turns of measuring tools spinning jenny try and increase our trade and our income a little bit here but we are struggling for so many nations at war with each other in the turn and see what happens my friends not a lot we can do we're in a waiting game here now a waiting game to see what happens here with what the ottomans are going to do here oh look at that there prussia poland ottomans what will the ottomans do here nothing at the moment which are going to try and starve them into submission. Sweet Russia doing absolutely nothing at all. Which is... Oh, wow, what's that? I don't know that is. Chechnya, I think, there. Mughal Empire. Which seems bereft of ideas for how to deal with the Marathans and vice versa. Vice versa, my friends. Georgia, Wittenberg... Call and Barbary States. Pirates. Oh, even the Crimeans are hitting here as well. Holy smokes. Plus when we're at Oh, justice management. Okay. One one eight five. So is some trade opened up for us? No it hasn't. Oh Austria might no it hasn't, no. Venice is still being hit. Mughal is still hit. Marath oh, Marathans have opened up. Hooray! The Marathans have fixed something. Hurrah! Two more turns. Two more turns. Ooh, hello. Looks like they're bringing in some... We're going to have those two coming in. We do have this general bodyguard here. To watch our backs here, my friends, we don't get caught on the hop here. We shall maintain the siege. At whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. They're coming for us again. They're coming for us again. We've got three regiments of grenadiers waiting for them here. Now we're going to save our. We're going to save our troops here. They're going to try and try and take Jerusalem off us. I'm going to try and bleed them dry here if I can. There's not else we can do here, my friends. We're out on a limb until we can get Greece and Istanbul under our control. Um, then we're not going to be able to do much in terms of freeing up any armies to strike out anywhere. Excellent, courageous leader. Plus three in Moran in battles. And John Churchill, oh my word. And so if you board, great general, sitting the far. Riding master. Oh, one more turn. Beautiful. Eight turns for crop rotation. Actually, that would probably be better served going into measuring tools, to be honest with you. Or even spinning Jenny. I think what we're going to do. Right, let's end the turn, my friends, and see what happens. There's going to be a, some quick turnarounds here in the, in the turns. I want to get to these battles of Athens and Gre and and Istanbul. It looks like we might have another battle in Jerusalem. <laughs> the thing with the Ottomans, though, is they have a huge amount of men per regiment, massive amounts and it does wear down your men significantly unless you've got a firm defensive strategy in place this could be the battle, here they come there it is 
I mean well knew it and they've got these here these fiends here so it looks like we're going to be this battle is going to take place now my friends we have to do we have to be exceptionally careful we got here we've managed to wear down the garrison significantly here to what it was but you can see they've got a lot of troops here so these cannon are going to be vital and so is the defensive line the, ca the, the cavalry is going to be pivotal in this fight we're going to keep them together for that armed mailed fist my friends Istanbul must fall now let's begin this fight the Battle of Istanbul at last we've dragged them out from their hiding hole we've pulled these wretches out come forward good sirs come forward to your doom we've come a long way from home here to establish or try and establish some kind of a, you know an, an empire a colony here in sort of the Balkans, um, sort of Asia Minor, as it were. But we are not going to yield at all, my friends, not a chance. Let's see what the layout gives us here. Let's see what we get here in terms of our potential defensive positions. A crucial defensive position is needed here. Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to yield any of this ground at all, not without a fight. Oh, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, thank goodness for that. We can move away from the city. I do not like being in a city fight at all. Actually, we can move right away from the city. Or actually, we're going to come... Oh, my God, Bennett, they're miles away from us over here. This is perfect. Mind you, look at their deployment zone. It is huge. But we're going to come over here, well away from this town here. Not a chance of my getting stuck in that town there. And actually, we've got this sort of slight raise here, right the perfect for our cannon. First thing we're going to do is bring our cannon in. And we've also got... Oh, good. We've got sandbags and defensive, defensive positions we can hold here. And a limber. I shall not forget it. A limber. Just in case. Look at that hidden. Ready for that for that fire to bring them down. Magnificent looking troops here. We're far, far from home here. Oh, look at that Istanbul in the distance. That is a massive city. Good grief. Far from home, but we have to do this, my friends, for king and country. 33rd foot, absolutely pivotal in the role here of defence. Smack bang in the middle here. Look at that. Beautiful. And they're going to go defensive. This is going to be a full defensive setup here. Look at that. It is a beautiful sight to see. Now they do have mortar, but we're well out of range of any mortar fire. Right, we have grenadier. <coughs> we're gonna have the third grenadier on the right here, at 33rd foot. So we've got effectively three elite regiments holding our central defence. Then we've got the first grenadier regiment with the other, th with the other. There's two more fighting in, in Jerusalem. Gentlemen, please. Thank you. Three elite regiments holding them in the centre here. That's where most pressure is going to come. Fourth regiment. Going to start the curve around here. What is the line of sight like here? Very good. And eleventh regiment. Again, we're going to start to angle the defence here a little bit so that it flows away and out this way, straightens up here so we can cover all the angles here. And we've got the 13th Regiment here. We've got this wall here. But I don't like being behind walls unless the enemy is coming and it comes straight on towards us. If the, if, the, if the town wasn't here and the wall was here, then I would be putting my troops behind the wall. But as you can see, look, behind the wall here, and they've got this massive sort of divot in your way. There's no point in this hill here. There's no point in that. You need a clear arc of fire. And we're going to definitely put some more men over here as well. The second regiment here. Actually, let's angle that a little bit here just to compensate for anything coming our way. That's a long line as you can probably see here my friends and I think I'll put the 5th regiment here just so it can be moved either side. Right, general, 
as always behind here, keeping a firm eye on the proceedings. And last but not least is our cavalry, which is going to be right on the far right, or left here, I beg your pardon. We don't have um, the formation yet, so that is first fine, but they're hidden. They're, ra they're waiting to pounce. A one armoured fist is. Whoa, 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 whoa. A fourth regiment of horse. I beg your pardon, I thought we had three. This is even better news. <laughs> Look at that, what a, what a sight to behold. You actually put these. They're still hidden, they are indeed. I think we're good to go, my friends. Good to go. Let the battle commence. There they are. And all the way down here, as I suspected. Now they've got to come to us this time. That's a lot of troops. So this flank here is going to come under quite a lot of pressure. But we're good. We're, we're good to hold here. We've got a reserve regiment just in case one of these flanks does get hit quite hard. But we're going to bide our time here, waiting for that moment. Will these come out of here? Will these be pulled out of here? Because sometimes they will actually come out. Let's speed things up a little bit. Let's get this. Let's get this battle underway here. Here they come. I've got to pick that right moment, my friends. The right moment for the cavalry to strike. Steady, lads. Steady now. Hold your nerve. It looks like they're bringing all of these into line here. For some reason, this is what they do. They bring all their forces into a line. Look at that. We're just a couple of hundred yards away from this, their lines here. These are moving all the way back here. For what reason, I have no idea. But they like to stretch all of their forces out right along here like this in one long line. And I have absolutely no idea why. But what I will be doing eventually is striking into these. But they've still got these damn mortars here which will give us absolute hell. So these are moving... I have no idea why these are moving like this. That's why I've sped things up a little bit here, but... Patience, my friends. Patience is absolute key key here to this victory of Istanbul. I'm going to take my time with this. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to do anything silly. I'm just going to wait here. This is, this is fast forwarded now for a reason. Because they're obviously coming around here. Look at that. They're walking. They're taking their time. They're obviously going to either fit in probably at the end here and then they will move out. But what we think we'll do is we'll just mess with their timetable a little bit. Let's see how the arm poplars like this. <laughs> Get to them lads before they can open fire. Get out of there gentlemen. Get out of there. Oh, they've broken as well. They should come back. They should come back here. Jeepers, creepers, creep balls of fire. Now they definitely won't come back. Holy smokes. That's gonna... That shifted them into, into some kind of movement here. <laughs> I like it. We've had to sacrifice that one unit. They're shattered completely. 
they come back so be it, but it's not like they're going to. We're going to wait here. Oh, they came back. Yes. Steady lads, steady. Their sacrifice was not in vain. Let's fast forward things up a little bit here. Let's get things, let's get the action rolling here. Look at that, it's a beautiful sight to see when you just put their plans to absolute rack and ruin. If I can, I'm going to strike right into the flank of these when they attack. These are going to hit this flank here quite hard. Actually, they looks like they're going to come straight for the centre. But I will do, this won't take any chances. I shall move this regiment. left of these Azars but I'm not finished. Of course they're winning slightly. But how much longer now? Turn into them lads. Break them. Break them and avenge your brothers. Look at that, what a beautiful sight to see. Out, gentlemen, out. Don't get bogged down in any fighting. Come on, look at that, what an absolute joy to see here. <laughs> keep going, lads, keep going. Don't you break, don't you break. I absolutely knew it. We'd have one right on the outside here. Look at these Azars here. Charge! I want them destroyed, gentlemen. They're trying to curve back into their artillery range. Not a chance. <laughs> as soon as I get fired by rank, I'm going to absolutely destroy them. Absolutely destroy them. They've been shattered. That's it, break you fiends. Oh my word, what a shot. I don't think they quite understand what has come their way. The full might of the British Empire is here. That's the limit of their range. I think what we shall do is switch flanks here now. We're going to move our arc. That's where they're going to be. It's where the, the main bulk of the enemy is coming up. It's in this flank here in the middle.
<laughs> oh, it's an absolute joy to see. An absolute joy to see. I think what we will do is teach these Azars a lesson. So they won't forget in a hurry. And we'll get stuck into here as well. They're all broken. get fired by rank, I really can't. Swarm them lads. Look at that, the pincer movement. <laughs> And they really thought they could deal with us. They're shattered, they're routed. Like the fiends that they are. Right, move back, gentlemen, move back into line, please. Back into some kind of coherent order. Lock sharp, lads, lock sharp. What places is going on here? I think they're coming back. Well, well, well. Keep going, lads. Keep going. You want to outgun, outrun these. Ignore the gun farm. Break these. Break these forty water. <laughs> Look at that, my friends. A completely intact line here. Oh, they're shattered. This is an absolute beautiful sight to see. Let's teach them a lesson once and for all. Swarm them lads. Fab. Run through them, run through them lads. Hack them down as you go. Come on. Don't get caught there, don't get caught there. The 
give me this is it. Charge! Cease fab. Oh my word, my friends, that was beautiful. We should have got this garrison here. These gotta be taken care of. It looks like we're gonna do this the hard way. Right. These two here. And these two here, we're gonna have to throw them different angles here of attack. Come on, break them, shatter them. Swarm over them. Ah, they're shattered, they're gone, they're all coming back. <laughs> yes, we did it, my friends, we did it. Can we finally take Istanbul at last? Can we finally take the absolute hub here of the Ottoman Empire and really, really draw out quite a lot of their resources here? Look at that. We lost 260 men here for that battle. They lost well over half of their men. Ooh. To be honest, ooh, this, uh, this is not going to be quite as easy here. This this year is not as easy as it looks but I think my friends I'll take this fight next episode they've got no reinforcements coming in at all this is exactly by themselves here so I'm gonna wait for them they've got no cannon to help them at all so this is gonna be a straightforward open fight here I'm gonna blitz these to hell why this isn't in my favor I don't know that's a bit strange there but I won't I'm not gonna risk an auto resolve on this not one iota I'm gonna take this fight personally my friends but hopefully we can take Athens and Greece next episode I hope you've enjoyed this episode, my friends. Um, as always, please keep your comments coming down below. And please, my friends, as always, your comments are really, really invaluable to me. They really are absolutely fantastic. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, my friends, we're going to promise you a huge battle again. Not just here, but elsewhere on the map, my friends. Once we've, once we've secured Athens and we secured Istanbul, we can start looking maybe with this army here to move out a little bit here and start clearing up some of these... Um, towns here and try and make all of this area ours and just holding Istanbul, holding Greece with the garrison force. But until then, my friends, bye for now.